Hello, everybody. Um, other episode here on my channel. And uh, what I really wanted to touch on is the fact that uh, when on Facebook in those Rawhide groups like the Rawhiders Gathering and the Rawhide page and what have you, uh, a lot of times uh, when people say, I want to learn how to work Rawhide and start braiding and all that, my answer is um, twofold. I mean, of course, you need to know the mechanics and the dynamics of the whole braiding process and how to braid a body and how to build a button and so on. But you can do that with leather or parachute cord to get familiar with it. If you really want to braid rawhide, it's very important to get the, the right amount of moisture in your string. You're tampering needs to be perfect. And for me, it's different for a fat body string over a narrow button string. What I'm gonna tell you right now is to make something with a heavy string, a heavy beefy string, let's say an eighth of an inch thick, a uh, white and one sixteenth thick, because I like to have the ratio two to one on maximum three to one, which means thickness an eighth and a sixteenth uh, thickness. Or let me see, what is it then? Three sixteenths uh, width and one sixteenth thickness. Um, to me, that is the ideal ratio. And like uh, uh, Don Luis Ortega, he used that method and made awfully nice stuff with it. But what I always, the other thing is, you know, apart from getting your feet wet with leather and, uh, and parachute cord, is try to find a braider in your neighborhood that can sit down with you and teach you more about temper and how to keep the temper in a string when you're building a certain project. But the most important thing for me, I know what it did for me, is come to a Rawhiders gathering. Why? Because like the Rawhiders gathering that we started nine years ago, so next year will be our 10th anniversary that we're doing it. Um, you got about 30 people in there that are all rawhide braiders. They may be from ring beginners, like somebody that says, I want to learn how to work and braid rawhide, up to the full-blown masters and gurus of rawhide braiding. Like Billy Elvin is there every year. Mike Hickey is there every year. Enrique Capone is there every year. Like Nate Walt has been there several years. Depends on whether he needs to ship his calves or not. Um, and of course, Pablo Lozano is there every year. And Clint Haverty. Clint Haverty, by the way, is the person that really got the Rawhiders gathering started. Um, but you have from absolute masters to rank beginners and everything in between. So there's a lot that you can learn from little things, details. You can ask, everybody's free to share. And I kind of wanted to show what it did for me. This is one of the first hackamores I ever did. You see, it's lumpy. It's, it's got about, for me, the feel of a dish rack. You know, it's beginner's work that I'm not very proud of, but I don't want to get rid of it because, you know, this is where I came from. I got one that's even worse, but I don't want to show that one. Where this Bozell is the last one that I did. And to me, in the quality of braiding, in the feel of the, the Bozell, it's, it's night and day. So I credit everybody that ever uh, 
attended the Rawhiders gathering for the greater I am today. And I'm not a master, and there's a lot to, still to learn and to experiment and what have you, but I think I came a long way. Like these three quirts, this is the oldest quirt I could find. It's got a letter body over raw height, and then uh, raw height buttons with an interweave on it. Like 15 years ago, well, this probably 20 years ago, I was real proud of this. Today, I want to keep it as a reference where I come from. This one is a little later, and there are some improvements over the first one. And this one, I think I did the last year before we had our first gathering. And, I mean, I got better. You know, people giving me pointers and stuff. And uh, I got to know Betty Fruns. So whenever I was on a horse show in Germany and on the way back, I'd stop there showing some stuff. And he'd tell me, like, you know, that, 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 you need to pay a little attention there or you can avoid it this or that way. This squirt I made uh, probably five, six years ago after a couple of visits to the Raw Hatters Gathering. I mean, and I think it's very easy to see the progress before the gathering, after the gathering. This one I did, I think, earlier in the year, and this is the last one I finished a couple of weeks ago. Day and night difference. Both in execution, design, button work, straightness, what have you. So, if you are interested in uh, becoming a braider, making your own rawhide horse gear, or if you're not into horses, dog leashes, or jewelry for the missus and the nieces, I would strongly suggest to come and join us at the Rawhiders Gathering which is normally the first full weekend of October plus Monday and Tuesday. And it's always at the NRS Event Center in Decatur, Texas. If you're on highway, I think it's 287. And uh, you'll see the huge NRS store, which has everything from boots, hats, clothing, but also feet and horse deck and what have you. Down there is an, uh, an arena, an event center, and that's where we have our gathering. Hope to see you there one day. Have a good one, y'all.